So we should say, what, what are we doing to make our products uh, better, to make them more affordable, uh, to have the customer experience be delightful? Forget solar charging and satellite calls. That's old news. Elon Musk unveils Tesla Pi phone might be the first smartphone designed from the ground up to not need sight at all. And that changes everything. Not just for tech enthusiasts, but for people society has quietly left out of the smartphone revolution. The blind and visually impaired. How could that even work? And is it actually real? Or just another Elon-sized headline? Let's break it all down in this video. Before we jump in, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Every click brings Ocean Tech closer to reaching its first 999 members. Your support really helps this channel grow. I mean, we've got to be excited about the future. We've got to do things that make us want to live. You know, it cannot always be about problems every day. I mean, do you want to wake up every morning and everything's just a problem? Well, what, in what inspires you and what makes you excited about the future? There's got to be some things like that. When we talk about phones for the blind, the conversation typically dies in the realm of accessibility features buried under settings menus. But the Tesla Pi phone isn't trying to be accessible in the traditional sense. It's attempting something stranger, bolder. What if the phone's screen wasn't for seeing at all? What's the closest thing to being a wizard uh, in the real world? And that's like creating new technologies. Leaks suggest that the Pi phone may feature adaptive texture technology essentially a shape-shifting screen. The surface of the phone subtly raises or lowering itself to form patterns, lines, even braille characters in real time. No need to memorize voice commands or tap around on glass. The phone could literally let you feel your notifications. Text messages, a tactile wave pattern, calendar reminders, a bump followed by a sliding motion. And the wild part? It doesn't need your eyes to interpret any of it. But the ambition doesn't stop there. Tesla is reportedly integrating 3D spatial audio, powered by Starlink's ultra-low latency satellite network, which averages just 15 to 20 milliseconds latency globally. That's fast enough to deliver real-time directional sound. Instead of flat voice prompts, the Pi phone could use binaural audio to guide you like a personal assistant in your ear. Need to turn left? You'll hear a voice in your left ear. Obstacle ahead? It might gently shift the voice to warn you before you reach it. It's not just GPS, it's GPS with spatial presence. Early sources say this could even help blind users navigate unfamiliar streets with 90% improved accuracy over traditional phone audio navigation. And since Starlink covers 99% of Earth's populated areas, you could use this in cities, towns, or even remote areas, without cell towers. Losing your phone is annoying. Losing it when you're blind is a different beast entirely. But what if your phone didn't just wait to be found, it found you? Tesla's rumored integration of Neuralink-adjacent tech and a powerful AI vision system in the Pi phone hints at something fundamentally new. Not a smarter phone, but a proactive one. A device that's not just aware of itself, but aware of you, your environment, and what matters in real time. Imagine this. You walk into a coffee shop, you hold up your Pi phone, and it softly says, Cashier two feet to your right, menu above, door behind you. No tapping, no asking. It simply understands the scene and starts translating the visual chaos of the world into a stream of contextually timed audio cues. It's not describing everything, it's describing only what matters. That's a huge difference. And the weird part? This may also be the first phone that doesn't need to be in your hand to help you. If misplaced, it could use directional 3D sound to call out to you. Not just ringing. Imagine it sending a localized whisper to your left ear saying, I'm under the couch. Combine this with Starlink's satellite precision and AI pattern recognition, and you're no longer finding your phone. It's tracking you with intention. For blind users, this becomes more than convenience. It becomes safety infrastructure. Streets, stairs, crowds, all risk factors where a one-second delay can lead to injury. A phone that narrates moving obstacles, reads signs in real time, 
or even recognizes familiar voices can dramatically shift that landscape. We don't talk enough about durability, probably because we've accepted that phones are fragile, like glass sculptures we carry in our pockets. But the Pi phone seems to flip that assumption entirely. What if a phone wasn't just smart, but tough enough to survive real life? Let's start with materials. The Pi phone is rumored to use a titanium ceramic composite, the kind you'd expect on military-grade gear or spacecraft hulls. This is a substance engineered to withstand drops from up to six feet without cracking. For someone blind or older, where one-handed use is common and uneven surfaces are everywhere, this isn't luxury. It's survival insurance. And then there's the self-healing coating. This tech uses molecular elasticity to close scratches on its own over time. So the scuffs you'd normally collect over months? Gone within hours or days. But here's the real curveball. Magnetic grip tech. Supposedly, Tesla is building a low-energy magnetic field into the phone's body that subtly interacts with surfaces and skin. It's not sticky. It's not clumsy. It simply helps the phone resist slipping. It won't glue the phone to your hand, but it might stop it from tumbling out of your lap unnoticed. So the question becomes, when does this all go from rumor to reality? According to industry leaks, prototype testing for the Tesla Pi phone quietly began in mid-2026 at Giga, Texas, Tesla's massive facility that's already known for pushing out Cybertrucks, batteries, and now possibly a phone. But unlike previous Tesla product launches, where hype rolls out years before hardware, the Pi phone has been shrouded in something more interesting. Silence. That's not because it's uncertain. It's because the first version may not be meant for the general public at all. Sources suggest that the initial units, possibly just tens of thousands, are being designed for niche user groups, with the blind and visually impaired community rumored to be among the very first recipients. That would mark a radical shift in tech strategy. The full rollout could come as soon as Q4 2026. But what's more important than the date is what Tesla seems to be optimizing for. Real-world testing, not flash launches. With Starlink integration, updates to the Pi phone may be pushed live continuously, even while users are sleeping. No more waiting for OS updates or Wi-Fi. And here's where it gets unusual. Tesla may not even go through traditional retail channels. It may be through government partnerships, healthcare networks, even nonprofit tech orgs distributing the first wave of devices. And that raises an open-ended question. What if the next revolutionary phone doesn't start on store shelves, but in someone's pocket who's never even owned a smartphone before? If smartphones were redesigned from the ground up for the blind, could that actually make them better for everyone? Let us know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your support is what makes future videos like this possible. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.